hi guys welcome to another electronic lyric video tutorial today's video tutorial is about the use of legs in Arduino programming so before starting the programming first uh, let's uh, discuss about legs what is a leg and how it can be used in programming so leg is a variable usually boolean having only two values like true or false yes or no on or off even it can be any two numbers like one or two four or five eight or nine or any any other number that indicates some program state so flakes can be used as signals in a program flakes can be used in infinite ways it can be used in any programming language whether you are using visual basic where you're using uh, matlab or any other language it can be used so legs can also be used to control the program execution today in this video tutorial we will be using the flag to control the program execution to stop the unnecessary repetition of instructions or unnecessary repetition of code so how to use flags let's start programming uh, I will be writing two programs to show the difference what happens when we use a flag and what happens when we don't use the flag so uh, let's first make a small circuit in uh, Proteus click on P and write you know for the Arduino also click uh, we will also be needing a resistor We will also need uh, LEDs, so one LED, and we will also be needing a button. Okay, now click rotate, zoom a little bit. I want to use a button with pin number two. And I want to use LED with pin number 13, a resistor, and value is 330 ohm. I will need some terminals like ground. And we will also need a virtual terminal. This so connect TXT with RXT and the RXT with TXT. And let's save this. Desktop YouTube tutorials. And let's save this in flag. Okay, now let's start the programming. Open the Arduino IDE. Okay, so as we are using a button, so let's first define the button in data. Button is equal to the two as it is connected to pin number two. And in data LED is equal to 13 as it's connected to pin number two. And Boolean. Take one is equal to false. By default, we want to keep it false. So now, wide setup and wide loop. So let's first activate the serial communication. Serial dot begin 9600. 9600 is a bottle bits per second. Now we will be using the pin mode function button as it's a, an input device, so we will write the input and LED is an output device, so 
to your right output so then mode led as output digital right button keep it in high state by default digital right led as low by default keep it off so add serial dot print format completed now before you start uh, compiling the program first make sure that <coughs> these two boxes are checked so and when you compile you get the link for the hex file so copy this copy click and paste if you run the program it prints the setup is completed but we can see that nothing is happening as uh, we have to write the program so Let's first make a simple program without the use of fake and see what happens. So if digi digital read button is equal to is equal to low. See if the if the button is pressed. What to do? Turn on the LED. Digital right LED is also print serial dot print line LED is on let's just uh, copy this code copy and paste and if it's high if the button is released low and write it is off and else digital right button is high always keep the button in high state so let's compile that the hex file will be updated automatically and now let's check this in simulation now as you can see that it's repeating it again and again if I press this one now LED is on LED is on LED is on it's just wasting the processing time and it keeps the controller busy uh, in, in executing uh, in executing these uh, instructions these instructions so what we want to we want to uh, make some modification if we use play in this program the, this repetition can be stopped so when the button is pressed, it will only execute this uh, portion of code only one time. And if the button is off, uh, it will only execute these two instructions just one time. So how to use that? Let's use it over here. <coughs> right over here. And now and play one is equal to is equal to false which by default we set it to false over here check if the button is pressed and also the flag one is false execute this code and once this these two instructions are executed change the state and flag one is equal to true now over here is a state has been changed flag one is equal to is equal to true execute these instructions and again change again change the state uh, make it false
So now I'll compile this. So we forgot the end. So now I'll compile this. <clears throat> now now let's check what happens. You can see now there is no repetition of code and you can see that only one time if I press button the principality is on and that's it and when I release the button you can see the LED is off and there is no repetition of code so that's how the quakes can be used to stop the unnecessary repetition of code so if you like my video subscribe to my channel share my video with your friends and Thanks for watching.